Welcome to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a coffee cocktail because I really like coffee and cocktails kind of smashed together. Now, this is a simple cocktail that I call milk and cookies. And basically what you could do is put this cocktail together and you could actually enjoy it with cookies or you can enjoy it just on its own. It's technically your milk to the cookies. Now, I had to create a simple syrup for this that I call golden syrup. And this is really, really easy. And this is one of our ingredients. In fact, it'll be our first ingredient. This is a golden brown sugar in water in equal measure. You bring it up to a boil, and then what you do is you simmer it for a little bit. After you've done that, you add a little bit of lemon juice, and what that'll do is that will actually cut some of the bitterness that you'll gain from the cooking process because you want this to be a thicker syrup, almost on a two to one because you want it to cook long enough to evaporate a lot of the uh, liquids off. So what you'll do is grab your shaking tin, and your jigger. And for this, we're going to use a half an ounce of this golden syrup, which works out to 15 milliliters. And you'll notice that this is very, very thick. It's almost like a thick version of a honey syrup, which is fantastic. And I'll also put the recipe down in the description down below for you so that you can make your own. Our next ingredient is cold brew coffee. Now, we don't need a lot. We're going to use one ounce, which works out to 30 milliliters. Now that you've added your cold brew coffee, we're going to add our whiskey. Now I'm using a Canadian whiskey, I'm using swear jar. It's smooth, it's rounded, it's a rye whiskey, so it has a little bit of spice to it. But if you want, and this is where you get that open-ended part, you could add any whiskey that you want to any amount that you want to get the flavor combination that you want. That's an awful lot of you want, because after all, this is your cocktail. So we're going to use a total of an ounce and a half, which works out to 45 milliliters. Your next step in the process is to shake these ingredients. And we're going to do what's known as a short shake. So anywhere between five to 10 seconds. So we're just chilling it down. We're not really doing a lot of uh, uh, dilution because if we do, it'll become too weak. So basically fill your glass and then slap your lid on there. Give it a flip and shake it with a smile. All right, pop that off with the strength of a thousand coffee beans, put it off to the side. And what we're going to do is grab a highball glass. And what we'll do is we'll fill this glass full of ice. So if you have one by one cubes, it's about three or four, totally depending. And what we'll do is we will just basically use it with our Hawthorne strainer, strain it in on top. Absolutely gorgeous to look at so far, but what we're going to do now is add some milk. So grab the milk or dairy product of your choice. Now, if you prefer not to use milk, you could use a nut milk, like almond milk or something like that. Whatever works best for you. And what we need is three ounces or 90 milliliters. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous with a nice beautiful flow of the milk straight to the bottom. Grab yourself a straw, give it just a little bit of a mix, just so that everything is completely incorporated, and then give it a try. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> that is really good. Uh, the whiskey is there, but it's light. The syrup is there, just giving you those sweet notes that actually blend in with a little bit of citrus that's in there. And the coffee in there is fantastic. You could also do, say, a double shot of espresso if you wanted or something like that to really dial in this cocktail to get it exactly where you want it. Now, if you like this style of coffee cocktail, take a look right here.